exactly one month away from Maine experiencing a total solar eclipse. But what does that mean when compared to other types of eclipses that we've seen in the past? April's event is just one of four types of solar eclipses. Let's break it down. First up, we'll talk about the eclipse in one month called a total solar eclipse. It occurs when the moon completely blocks the face of the sun by passing between it and Earth. People in the middle of the moon's shadow will experience a total eclipse, meaning the sky will darken as if it were dusk or dawn. They'll see what's called the sun's corona or outer atmosphere, which is usually blocked by the sun's bright face. Next up is the annular solar eclipse. This is what a lot of people saw back in October. The annular eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and Earth, but this time it's at its furthest point from Earth. That means it doesn't completely cover the sun, but creates a dark disk surrounded by what looks like a ring. You need to keep your eclipse glasses on to enjoy this type of eclipse. Depending on where you are, you may experience a partial solar eclipse. This happens during both a solar and annular eclipse when you're outside of the area covered by the moon. You'll see part of the sun covered, giving it a crescent shape. And lastly, a hybrid solar eclipse. Because the Earth is curved, there are times an eclipse can switch between an annular and total solar eclipse as it moves across. The next one of these will be in 2031. And we will be covering the eclipse live from Holton, which is in the path of totality. We'll also have coverage leading up to the event April 8th. To learn more, you can text the word eclipse to 828-6622.